So wait a minute, would you buy a phone if it was endorsed by Kim Kardashian? Hey guys, what's up? Dave Wobble here. Welcome to I.O. Okay guys, before I get into this story, I gotta tell you about a crazy game. It's called Planets New. This game is an in-depth, turn-based multiplayer game. It simulates galactic warfare, so if you're a sci-fi guy like me, it's right up your alley. But the interesting thing about this game compared to other turn-based games is this one will take months to finish. Players only take one turn every two to three days. And that's because they wanna really simulate how a galactic warfare would actually go down. What I love about it, it's a new design, it's fun to play, and it's got a really enthusiastic following, like me. Be sure to click the link in the description below, guys, and start your galactic conquest now. Okay, so what are your thoughts on Kim Kardashian, guys? Do you like her, hate her? Let me know down there. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited for the Super Bowl. I can't wait for it, but there has been a boatload of commercials being thrown in our face already. Now, T-Mobile decided to put Kim Kardashian in one of her ads, and it is hilarious. In this commercial, for once, the girl actually makes fun of herself. During the thing, she endorses T-Mobile and how amazing it is for its data usage. Throughout the commercial, she talks in a very serious tone. She's wearing a blouse and she pretty much goes on to say how it's an atrocity that there's so much access data out there so people can't look at her photos. I don't really know what she's talking about because my phone plan, I'm always over data. I don't know about you guys. If you guys use your data on your phone way too much, hit that like button. Now some interesting facts about this ad. Believe it or not, I think they just chose Kim Kardashian because of what they actually showed last year at the Super Bowl. T-Mobile had an ad last year that was just text-based, and it was pretty funny too. The text read, maybe next year we'll do an ad with overpaid movie stars. So it looks like this is the year, but then again, I think they're only half right because being a reality famous person is not really a movie star. Let's be real. So here's the question for you guys. What are your thoughts on reality television stars? Do they help forward society or are they just as useless as us YouTube hosts? So thanks for watching guys. I'm Dave Wappel. As I always say, keep it real, keep it classy, keep it on the flip side. And we'll see you maybe at the Super Bowl. Yay! Because for me, I plan to streak during the Super Bowl. Sure, right, if I can even get in. Ooh.